Hi, my name is uh, Stan Gerson. I am the director of the Seidman Cancer Center and the Case Comprehensive Cancer Center in Cleveland at University Hospitals of Cleveland and at Case Western Reserve University. The study that we're presenting at ASH is actually a very interesting gene therapy study for patients with glioma. Now, patients with a glioma uniformly die of their disease at about 18 months. And the reason is that they have a progressive disease which is very difficult to treat. The standard treatment is with temozolomide, but about 20% of patients actually can't tolerate the chemotherapy after their surgery. And in addition, about half the patients with glioma actually have a gene that's present in their tumor, which doesn't let them respond to the temozolomide treatment. So half of them have difficulty with that chemotherapy and may not even respond to it. So we are improving that therapy in two dramatic ways. First, we've come up with an inhibitor called benzoguanine, which blocks the resistance gene in glioma. And secondly, we've come up with a gene therapy, which we actually give to the bone marrow of those patients so that we can protect their bone marrow from the chemotherapy. And we've done that by making them resistant both to the chemotherapy and to the inhibitor. So we get a double whammy effect. And the presentation that we're making at ASH this year shows that it's safe to use the gene therapy using a lentivirus made by Lentigen, now Milteni, to introduce the gene into the bone marrow. And then patients will tolerate their chemotherapy better. And we show the insertion sites that the four patients that we've treated have, showing that they're actually not developing any sort of a clonal abnormality showing that it's actually safe to administer the gene therapy and allow patients to receive their chemotherapy at higher doses and on schedule. And we're looking forward to then replicating the work that our colleagues Hans-Peter Keim have done at the Fred Hodge Cancer Center, where he's actually shown in his study with a different delivery system called a retrovirus, that patients can actually have a prolonged life with their underlying glioma uh, by this combination of therapy and gene therapy.